Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the glorious Quran in Surah Nuh, Surah number 17, one, ayat number 19, Allah said that the earth is like a carpet. What? Earth is like a carpet. Zakir Naik, I see. The time has finally come. You see. <coughs> You seem a little younger than I remember. This must be an old video. By the way, I know it's Zucker or some shit, but, um... Yeah, yeah, I'm not saying it like that. Sorry. So, the earth is like a carpet. Proceed. And now, whenever we see carpet... Carpet is like... Flat, right? Not if you work in a carpet store. They can't all be home runs. Just deal with it. But science today tells us... That... The shape of the earth is... Geospherical. This is something I found funny since I started watching Islamic apologetics more. If you take this word geospherical that you guys love to describe the Earth with, if you actually go and you type that into Google, use an incognito window so that your Google search results aren't personalized, just type in the word geospherical, and all you're gonna find, pretty much, is Zakir Naik apologetics. Because people don't describe the shape of the Earth as geospherical because the word geospherical doesn't refer to the shape of the Earth. The word geospherical is used to talk about things related to the geosphere. So just like how you might use the term atmospherical or atmospheric when you're talking about the atmosphere, you would use the term geospherical when you're talking about the geosphere. It's just you guys who use it in this weird way that refers to something shaped like the Earth, and the way you're trying to use it is pretty redundant considering that what it actually means if you take geosphere would be that the Earth is shaped like the Earth. You could have just said spherical because the geo part is totally pointless. What other people describe the Earth as is an oblate spheroid. In other words, a sphere that's been kind of squished on the top and bottom, or more accurately, pulled out on the sides from centrifugal force. But now look, Allah said in the glorious Quran, what? In Surah Nusra number 71, Atama 19, Allah said, the Earth is like a carpet. So they say that, look, scientific error in the glorious Quran. Why? Because Allah said the Earth is like a carpet. Yeah, you know what? In this case, I totally agree with you, Zakir. Translations tend to use terms like expanse, some translations interpret this as a carpet or a rug, and personally, that on its own is not enough for me to assume that the Quran means that the earth is flat. Reason being, I would find it pretty surprising if they thought that. The people in the time of Muhammad already knew that the earth was spherical. It had been known for ages, the circumference was already calculated, Aristotle discussed it, Eratosthenes measured it, the Romans knew about it, the Indian Aryabhata wrote about it in the 5th century BC, E. Just about forgot that. And on, and on, and on. It wasn't some great mystery. And it seems fairly obvious when you compare the ancient Greek writings to the Quran that the Arabs of that time had some knowledge of the Greek understanding of how the world was. So I don't see any particular reason to read some vague metaphorical passage about a carpet and then suppose that Muhammad thought the earth was flat. This myth that people in the past, in the time of Muhammad or earlier, didn't know anything about the world, including the fact that it was spherical, is just idiotic, frankly. You know, people also think that Christopher Columbus thought the earth was flat and he'd fall off the edge. Previously, the human beings thought that the world was flat. It was in 1577, when Sir Francis Drake, he sailed around the earth that he proved that the earth was spherical. Yes, thank you, Zakir. That's exactly the kind of idiocy I'm talking about. The stuff just gets passed around from word of mouth, and people just believe it because it sounds plausible. I mean, we know a lot more now than we knew 300 years ago, so why wouldn't it make perfect sense that people five or 600 years ago or more knew even less than that, and so they didn't know the Earth was a sphere-ish? Nah, I'm with you, man. That criticism doesn't work. The Quran does not explicitly say the Earth is flat, from what I can tell. I'll let you say just a few more words here about this because you do make a good point, and then we'll move on afterwards. The specific ayah, there it says that the earth is flat to walk upon for human beings and the other living creatures. And there you go, it's a matter of scope. Are you talking about the local scope, where the earth is flat from everyone's perspective who's standing on it? Or are you talking about a wider scope, where the earth is a sphere? And beyond that, just saying it's a carpet doesn't imply total flatness necessarily. Any person who knows of the scientific knowledge of the time would be totally unsurprised if Muhammad or someone around him was aware that the earth was round. So if your goal is to prove that the Quran is really, really bad and stupid, just give it as much credit as you can. You don't need to pretend that this kind of stuff is the damning part. The stupid stuff that it clearly and explicitly says, and that can't be misinterpreted, provides more than enough material. The other example Allah says in the Glorious Quran, in Surah Naziyat, Surah number 79, Ayat number 30, Allah says, that I have created the earth in the shape of Dahaha. What is Dahaha? The 
egg of an ostrich. And if you see, the egg of an ostrich and the shape of the earth is exactly same. And this is the kind of scientific inaccuracy I'm talking about. What shape are they, Zakir? Geospherical. And they're exactly the same? Exactly same. Exactly? 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 Well then, if they're supposed to be exactly the same, then there's your scientific inaccuracy. Because the Earth is an oblate spheroid, and an ostrich egg is a prolate spheroid. The Earth is squished at the top and bottom, an ostrich egg is stretched at the top and bottom. They are precisely not the same. Not exactly, not even kinda. In a sense, they're kind of the opposite of each other, in fact. Weird. Now, of course, this is only an actual and obvious scientific error if the interpretation that this means an ostrich egg is correct. Now, that it means an ostrich egg is a pretty common interpretation, but apparently it can also mean a stretched out expanse. That would be what the haha, one of its meaning is an expanse, and the earth is an expanse. In which case, it sounds to me like we're right back at the carpet discussion. But Sakir here thinks it does mean ostrich egg, so whether it's only his own interpretation or not, according to him, who knows Arabic better than I do, because I don't know Arabic, there is a scientific error in the Quran. It was his idea, you know, take it up with him. You know, look, see, this is what I'm talking about, people. You don't need to harp on the carpet thing and say they think the Earth is flat. At least, not unless they tell you they think the Earth is flat as a result. Which, granted, some do. If they say they think the Earth is shaped like an ostrich egg, this is bad enough. It really is. And this is what Zakir here is using to try to fend off the accusation that the Quran thinks the Earth is flat and therefore is scientifically inaccurate. Ironically, his rebuttal to a pretty unconvincing claim that the Quran contains a scientific inaccuracy is to bring up an actual, obvious scientific inaccuracy. Well done, Zakir. Wait a minute. You're not Zakir. I mean, you have the same clothes, you have the same beard, you have the same citation style. In the Glorious Quran, in Surah Naziat, Surah number 79, Ayat number 30, Allah says, The Quran mentions in Surah Naziat, chapter number 79, verse number 30. You have the same claims? The egg of an ostrich and the shape of the earth is exactly the same. Geospherical. And if you analyze the shape of the egg of an ostrich, it is geospherical in shape. You use the same word, geospherical, that doesn't make any sense? You even fold your hands the same way. But you're not secure. You can't be secure. You're not funny enough looking. And now I've wasted eight minutes of my video on you. To be honest, I feel a little bit devastated that I've been fooled so completely. But you're almost perfect mimicry of Zakir Nike. It's very disconcerting to know that a human can imitate another human with such accuracy. It's... You know, the next time I see my wife, I'm going to be very concerned that she's been replaced by an imposter. I really just have to go and be alone and think about this for a while. I'll make a proper video response to Zakir Nike later.